<laughs> oh my god, yes. <laughs> uh, my parents always had lots and lots of music, different styles of music, and their record collection, there were Elvis records in there for sure. But um, me and my brother and, and all of his friends and some of my friends were all into punk rock back in the day, and Elvis to them wasn't very cool, so I would kind of sneak, sneak into the music room and put the headphones on and listen to these Elvis records. I saw some footage of Elvis Presley in 1956, the first, some of the first TV shows he ever did with Scotty and Bill and DJ Fontana on drums coming out, and it just, uh, man, it just floored me. But then it's like the hair on the back of my neck stood up, and I just said, because he was so cool and so dangerous to the 1950s audience, and uh, just, you, 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 it was undeniable. And still, so after that, I, I was just basically just like anybody who That's how I feel about it. And um, this song in particular was a, a song for uh, Junior Walker. It was a, a, an act that was on the Thanks, Trisha. Sam Phillips' son label, uh, previous to Elvis, and he recorded it originally. And then, of course, Elvis did his version of it. And it's, uh, I love that song. How much for the neon cactus? <laughs> My my uh my camera's flipped, so you'll have to see it backwards. I'm sorry. Like a thing for me. JMMFP is up next. Matthew, I'm just kidding. How we doing, everybody? I'm really bummed because my camera's flipped and so it shows it backwards. But I got the coolest little neon light for my birthday from my fiance and I wanted to sport it. And now I have to like make a note to maybe turn my camera around so that y'all can read it correctly, but that's okay. <laughs> Trial and error here. Welcome, welcome, sequestered songwriters. 
This is my flashiest little outfit that I own. Collars popped. I know you can kind of not tell. But, yes, I figured I'd dress as much as I could like the king of rock and roll. Um, of course, we all grew up listening to him. Um, I even have a, like, my mom always would tell me that she was, had such a big crush on him growing up, and she remembers the moment when she found out that he died. She was washing the dishes, and all of a sudden, she just, like, whenever she hears about it, she just gets these cold chills. And, um, so yeah, I know how much my mom loved listening to him, and of course, I love listening to him. He's incredible, and excited that we get to cover the songs that he performed. I know he never really wrote his own songs, but that's okay, because he performed the hell out of them, didn't he? Um, so, I didn't know which one to choose. I had a ton of them that I really liked, and but my friends slash partners in crime that helped me in this whole music biz threw out Never Been to Spain uh, because that's just one of them they added to the playlist of something for me to learn. I love them for it. appreciate them. Um, it's written by Hoyt Axton. And it's performed by Three Dog Night, Elvis, Cher, Waylon Jennings, Tina Turner. I had to write that down because it was a lot of them. Um, yeah, so it's pretty cool. It's a great song. I'm sure everybody really knows it. Um, I've never really heard it till my friends showed it to me. But that's, I love it because I'm growing. Um, yeah, so I'm going to play you all my best version of Never Been to Spain. Here we go. Well, I've never been to Spain But I kind of like the music Say the ladies are insane there And they sure know how to use it They don't abuse it Never gonna lose it I can't refuse I've never been to England But I kind of like the Beatles So I headed for Las Vegas Only made it out to Needles I got the feeling I must be near it Oh, it feels so good so good. Well, I've never been to heaven, but I've been in Oklahoma. Well, they tell me I was born there, but I really don't remember. In Oklahoma, Well, I've never been to Spain, but I kind of like the music. Say the ladies have been saying that, and they sure know how to use it. They don't abuse it, never gonna lose it. Oh, I can't refuse it. Well, I. Thank you, thank you very much. The king, y'all. 
Thank you, Jason, Courtney, and Matt for having me as usual. Thank you all for tuning in. Please uh, donate to Sequestered Songwriters um, Fund. It helps out a tons of artists in need. Y'all have an awesome night. We have the awesome Kayla Ray up next. Have a good night, y'all.